today's uh, Pilates class is an intermediate level ballet mat. We will use the TheraBand, we will use a ball, and whatever surface you are happy on. Oh yay, carpet is nice, cushy cushy. Okay, let's start how we normally start. On your back, please. I will adjust my camera so you can see all that we do. That's the plan. Okay, so from this position on your back, arch your back so your tailbone touches, and then roll through your spine, getting your low back, your middle back, your thoracic 12, T12 down, right in between your ribs. On the other side down, we want to keep that down the whole time. And then elongate your neck, tip your chin to your chest a little bit, and feel the length of your spine on that, shoulders back. Inhale here, exhale, relax to neutral spine. So in that neutral spine, remember your fingertips are on your pubic bone, heels of your hand on your ASIS thumbs towards your belly, finding that neutral spot. From there, using your belly, try not to use your feet and your glutes. Tip to 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6, and 9. 12, 3, 6. Now don't move your knees. 12, 3, Six and nine, and let's go the other way. Twelve, nine, don't move your knees. Six, three, twelve, nine, six, three, back to neutral. Find that perfectly neutral spot. Check it, take a peek, and hands down by your side. Narrow your waist on one. Take your belly to your spine on two. Two ribs in on three. Shoulders relax back. Find the muscle from your tailbone to your pubic bone and lift that up into your body. Keep your glutes relaxed. Pull that muscle up and in. Knit your belly muscles together. Breathe into your side ribs. Exhale, relax. Let's do it again. Narrow your waist on one. Take your belly to your spine on two. Ribs go in on three. Lift your pelvic floor muscle up and in. Knit your belly together. Take a little inhale, exhale. We're gonna zip up the last couple inches. Hold it tight, all in your core, in your center section. Keep that super tight. Isolate your left knee and drop your right knee open for one. And put it back. This is a stability exercise, not flexibility. I don't care if you go two inches. I want you to keep your whole pelvis still. And put it back. Shoulders relaxed, ribs in, open. Put it back. Put your hands on your hip, on your pelvis. Lift your elbows off. Open. Put it back. One more. Open. Put it back. And let's try the other side. Keeping your right leg still. Open. Lift the left. Put it back. Open. Your right knee is perfectly still. You could balance a nice mug of hot coffee on it, or cocoa, or decaf, or kid coffee. Hips are still. And one more, a little bit farther. Nice. Bring your right leg to tabletop. Crisp tabletop. So 90 in the hip, 90 in the knee. Open to the side. Go one. Put it back. Elbows on the mat are more supportive. Lift them off for a progression. Hip stays still. Left hip is still. Open. Put it back. And open. Put it back. Set it down. Bring up your left. And open. Put it back. And open. Put it back. Good. Keeping that pelvis perfectly still. Keeping your right knee still. That feels about right. Hold it here. One hand on your low abdomen. One hand checks your back. You should still be in perfectly neutral spine. Hold it here. Inhale. Ribs stay in. Exhale. Float up your other leg. No pooching. Set down your left. Okay, check yourself here. Scoop into your belly, neutral, neutral spine. Exhale, float up. Set down your right. Exhale up. No, no, no pooching. So if you're pooching, that low back can press into the mat for this next exercise. I don't want you to pooch for this. I really want us to dig into those deep transverse abdominal muscles. Right foot flat on the mat and return. Left foot flat on the mat and return. Do not bend it to set it down. Make sure you keep that 90 degree 
right and up and left and up add the arms right and close and left and close doesn't really matter if you get your arms wrong remember pilates is strengthening your core while flopping around your limbs <laughs> i know that's not super eloquent but that's basically what we do right good and now we're going to elevate the next and we're going to lift up our head and shoulders and up your arm comes alongside your ear lift and lift scooping into your belly so it's basically sliding your ribs towards your hips that's all we need and open and let's move faster open and open open and open good keeping that belly scoop staying in neutral spine reaching your feet out farther than you think yes Four, three, two, one. Nice. Keep them in tabletop. Grab hold and lift up a little higher. So pull your femurs down into the hips. Scoop up with your biceps. Arm hips working. Everything okay, Dara? Okay, cool. Inhale. Exhale around. Inhale. Exhale around. Inhale. And four. Single leg. Change. Change, pull straight down. Top of the knee pushes down into your hip socket. Yes, elbows wide for twist. Twist, arm to the knee, twist. Twist, 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 yay. Back to center. I have an idea. Let's do the rest on the ball, the rest of our warm up. So grab this, put it under your uh, scapula. So the idea here is that you get to keep your belly scooped. Oh, guess what I did, you guys? You're going to be so happy. I actually printed out a uh, script so I don't forget anything. I think one day I forgot something and remembered it like the next night. I felt really bad. Scoop in your belly. Slide your ribs to your hips. Armpits pull down. One leg to tabletop. No pooching. <sighs> Exhale up. Here we go. Find your spot. If this is causing you to, to pooch too much, scoot the ball towards your head. Yeah, so your back should be aiming for the mat, but not quite on the mat. Nice. Oh, here we are. Back to the warm up. Inhale, exhale, around. Your legs only go as low as you don't pooch. So you might actually have to extend your legs toward the ceiling more than you did before. And single legs. A little slower here. Keep your belly working. Arm hits two and twist. Twist. Yes, arm hits stay down. Shh. Point your toes, please. Back to center. Inhale. Exhale, rush. Inhale. T12. Get that T12 on the ball. Exhale around. And single. 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 Yes, and now arms, uh, elbows wide. <sighs> Scoop into your belly. <sighs> Armpit to knee. Armpit to knee. Hold it here. Set your feet down and waterfall back over your ball. Letting your ribs open and stretch. Good. And now to collect yourself, ribs come in. <sighs> Slide your ribs toward your pelvis. Armpits pull down into your body. Go, go, serratus interior, one leg up and the other. Very slight leaning back. So open and crunch it in. Open, crunch it in. Keep your belly scooped. You can only open as far as you do not lose your ribs. Other leg. And open, crunch it in. Open, crunch it in. Yay, you're doing great. Armpits down. Here we go, here's the other part of the set. Right foot down and crunch and scissors and tabletop. Left foot down and crunch and scissors and tabletop. Right foot down and crunch and scissors and tabletop. Left foot down and crunch, scissors and tabletop. We can do one more set on each side. Right foot down, tabletop. Scissors. Keep your top half moving. Left. 
table, scissors. All right, set it down, waterfall back. That one felt pretty good. I, I felt like I could keep going, but that wasn't fair because I did say one more. Okay, I think we did a really good thing with that. Let's do our teaser later. So uh, taking the ball in your hand, lay all the way down for a nice big stretch. I think I've lost my, my ball on camera here. Inhale and halfway. Exhale to sit tall, finding that nice deep curve, C curve where your belly goes to is fine, arm kicks down, sit tall, holding all the way forward, place the ball between your feet, reach beyond, keep your gaze lifted, hands under your ankle to as far as you can go, sit bones out of the way, use your biceps, one 1,000, two 1,000, sit tall, exhale down, squeeze the ball between your feet, inhale up halfway. Exhale to sit tall. All the way forward. Sit bones out of the way. Hands under your ankles. Go as far as you can go with no assistance. And then pull down. One, one thousand. Chin up. Two, one thousand. Sit tall. Exhale halfway down. Inhale here. Exhale up. Holding all the way forward. Sit bones out of the way. This time we're going to grab under our ankles. Drop your gaze and elongate your spine. Go. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Sit tall. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale here. Exhale, back up. All the way forward. Sit bones. Hands under your feet. Drop your gaze. And press up. You want to reach the crown of your head through your feet. Go one, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Oh, sit tall. Take the ball. Flex your feet. Uh, remember, the symptom of the problem here is moving your feet. So none of this. While we twist, you want to keep your feet totally cemented together, and you do that by uh, solidifying your pelvis and your hips. So sink your sit bones into your mat, armpits holding on, and twist. Armpits down. Keep your shoulders even. So none of this lifting, right? Good. Take the ball into your hand that travels the farthest. Keeping your armpits down. Nice. I like it. Hold the ball. Pitch forward so that you are at a perfect angle not curved. Check yourself in your monitor. Make sure that your low back is pinning down first. So you want to think belly to your spine and hold your arms above your head. That's where we are. So you want to have a nice acute angle here. Yes, even if that hurts your hands, go as far as you can. You can bend your knees if you need and twist toward me. Back to center. Inhale. Exhale away. Back to center. And towards me. Armpits down. And exhale, exhale, center. Reach those arms. Exhale, exhale, belly in. Exhale, exhale, armpits down. Get twisted. Good, sit tall. Exhale all the way down. Put the ball between your knees, please. Or supine twist. Squeeze it there. Hands on the mat, belly in. Inhale over that top leg must travel as far. So none of this, none of this twisting business. Get those knees at the same uh, altitude. All the way over, keeping your opposite shoulder down. Exhale, return. Inhale over. Opposite shoulder stays down. Exhale, return. Inhale. Opposite shoulder down. Exhale, air through your belly button. In your low back. Inhale away. Exhale, return. Take the ball between your ankles. Inhale over. Keep your shoulders down. Exhale, return. That T12 has to pin down. Inhale away. Oops, I ran out of space. Exhale, return. Shoulders stay down. Inhale over. Ah! Exhale, return. Good. 
and inhale away or to the wall and exhale return beautiful tailbone ball leg circles yay right here so here we've got a situation where if you have it too close to your head you're going to have an arch back no good so getting that ball pretty uh pretty far away from your head towards your tailbone and you see there should be a little bit of space again belly is trying to pin your tailbone to the mat right tabletop tabletop scoop your belly in one leg straightens up the other leg straightens out so it's floating the top leg you lost my foot up there it's pointed on day gone so cross your midline counterclockwise belly in don't let anything move you're going to have to go nice and slow to keep that bottom leg stabilized belly in belly in arm hits down shoulders in only as big as you are able to hold stability wise again this is not a flexibility exercise this is a stability exercise good and flex your foot and travel on the door keeping that belly tight keeping t12 down ribs down belly down good two and last one point that foot and switch on the door so now you should be going clockwise if you're using your left leg i'm not sure just keep your toe pointed and your hip stable that bottom leg is floating try not to move it around belly in scoop into your belly and flex and on the dog oh this is on the more i'm sorry the first one was on the dog Blah. it's too early keeping that foot flexed keeping that bottom leg reaching t12 is down shoulders are back ribs are in scoop into your belly we can do one more good point it put those down take out the ball and let's do some sideline work um ball between your ankles oh actually i see this is why i don't like a script because i think i don't want to do this script okay yeah i will we'll just stick with it <laughs> right there's no room for a spontaneity hand is up palm is up here belly is in nice and tight little mouse house in your waist top hip pushes away the ball is being squeezed between your ankles so really compress that ball right get a nice squeeze out of it the bottom has to squeeze to the top and the top has to squeeze to the bottom float your legs off the ground belly in and for more support you can give yourself a banana shape progression is in a straight line float the legs and squeeze 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 belly in armpits down keep that armpit traveling into your body and lift little lift belly in and lift and lift and keep it up as high as you can and kick behind you and straighten knees stay in the same spot behind you and straighten belly in and straighten and squeeze that ball and straighten and twist and twist belly in and twist and twist hold it right there hold it up and squeeze 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 belly in <sighs> Set the ball here uh sorry stay where it is so the top leg presses down on the ball right if you don't press down you're going to lose you'll lose your ball press down bottom leg close front and return my belly is i'm sorry my hand is on my belly to remind me to keep it working and also to feel if i start rolling back with that top hip you want to keep that top hip directly on top of the bottom hip mouse house scoop it in you're pulling on your psoas by using that good and in yay and put here up onto your elbow for a little mini side plank so here's where we lose it 
if you roll back and sink. So let's fix it together. Up out of your shoulder girdle, your elbows right under your shoulder. Lift your ribs, rock that hip forward, okay? Keep it right on top, and then lift your hip, rolling that out. Point, please, and back. Your knee should go straight to the ceiling, rolling out, belly in, and back. Rolling out, and back. One more, and rolling it out. Stay here in your hip lift. Put your foot down on the floor. Actually, right here, and drop. Tiny drop, and lift, and drop, and lift, and drop, and lift, and drop, and lift. Reach, 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 reach. Lift it up. Good, come all the way down. Back with the ball, or the block. Between your legs, you can keep it right here. Squeeze it as much as you can. Ribs are in, shoulder girdles, nice and elongated squeeze. Two, belly in, squeeze, squeeze, hold it here, and up, and down, and up, and up, and down, and up, and in, 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 and in, in, hold it, squeeze it as tight as you can, as tight as you can, and come back, okay, back to your ankles, I think we might have done this one last time, I can't, I don't know, all the days run into each other, I really don't know. My kid said, what day is today? I'm like, I don't know, day. So turning it out from right, right where you are. We're turning out the top foot. Your bottom foot should also turn out and float. Float the bottom foot, double pay up. I know this is a progression from last time. Take the ball, knee to your shoulder, drop your greater toe canter. So this hip right here, your upper hip butt that wants to help, drop that down, drop it down, get your knee up. Knee higher, knee higher, and développe up. Even if this is it, your hamstring's tight, you're not awake, it's okay. Keep your knee in the same spot. On développe, back to the ball, use your hamstring to get it nice and high. Floating that bottom foot, roll out in parallel. Back, oh wait, in, oh gosh. I meant roll out, turning out, back to parallel. Let's try it again. I'm floating the bottom leg. Turn out both legs. Knee to the ceiling, développe up, good. Drop your hip, drop your hip. Higher, higher, higher. Get your knee way up there. Use your hamstring to get your foot higher. Belly in, and keep that bottom leg floating. Turned out, développe up. On développe, turned out. Turn out, both legs, belly in, top hip is right on top, and back to parallel, last one. Turn up both legs, good, float that bottom one. That looks great, développe up higher, drop that hip, your greater trochanter needs to drop towards your sits bones. Down towards the mat, higher, 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 knee to your shoulder, float that bottom leg and turn out, it's okay if you lose your ball, and développe up, good, because we don't need it now. Reach up and grab it, drop your bottom leg to the mat, and stretch. Push away. Whoa! Don't roll back. And pull it down to you. And push away to activate. And pull it down to you. Again, push away to activate. Pull it down to you. Reach up and grab. And stretch. Yeah, you can bend that bottom leg for support if you're struggling. If you can, it's turned out in the bottom and it's floating. Let go, control, drop that greater choke canter. Top of your foot is looking at the back wall. Turn out, turn out, push that hip forward. Good, fight for it. All the way down, keeping that gluteus medius quiet. All the way down, all the way down. Back to parallel. <sighs> Good job. Let's do, yay, front support. Sands ball on your belly. Don't worry, Colette, I won't skip the second side because I have a script. Right? We're just going to have to rip through it. Here we go. Hands under your shoulders. Turn over your toes. Oh, how many push-ups do we do? Like five? Here we go. Push up. Oh, look at my, my shirt. It's a funny little thing. I'll tuck it in. Uh, let's do, let's start with five push-ups. Middle finger is at 12 o'clock. The eyes, eyes and the elbows are looking at each other. Drop your hips. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty
four, five. Take your right knee to your chest and your chest. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna do something really cool. Move your, uh, are you guys on your right leg? You should have your right leg in. If you don't, you just gotta do it backwards. Put your right hand in the center of the mat, open to the side, and bring this leg through. So it goes like this. From your pull in, you move your hand, you open to the side, and put it back. And eight, more, seven, drop your hips. Same leg, four, shoulders away from your arms. In, move your hand, and kick out, and passe, and out, and passe, out, and passe, and out, and put it back, left leg in, two, Three, drop your hips, five, six, seven, and eight. Left hand to the center, rotate out, bring it back. Eight more, eight, drop your hips, six, yes, four, three, belly in, armpits are working, rotate your hand and your body, out, passe, out, passe, out, Passe, and bring it back. Beautiful. Walk your hands to your feet. Soften your knees and roll out your wrist. We're going to go back out onto our elbows and do a glute lift. Tiny lift, just your glutes. Here we go. Three steps out. One, two, three. On your elbows. Drop your hips. Glute lift. Super straight leg lift. Two, three, yes, just your glute. Trying to keep your hamstrings out of it with a straight leg and switch. Yes, three, two, one. Push back up, bring your knees through for the other side and find your ball. We're in trouble because I went off script. <laughs> Ball between your ankles. Here we go. Belly in. Mouse house here. Right? So there should be a little space there or tightness. Um, top hip pushes away. Let's come up so you can see my leg. Squeeze and float that bottom leg. Whew. And lift. Small lift. Belly in, armpits down. Stay up and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep your knees where they are, kick behind you and straighten. Kick behind you and straighten. Belly in, kick behind you and straighten. One more. Keep that ball squeezed between your feet and twist. Belly in, armpits down. Even the one you're laying on, activate the serratus, activate the one on top. Good. Yes. Nice. Uh, I think next is, oh, plan. Right, oh, no, 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 we did this. There we go. Top foot on, float the bottom foot. There it is, belly in, keep your hips stacked, one right on top of the other. Really pressing down on the ball with that top leg. Good. One more belly in. Belly is what's bringing that leg off the mat. If you're struggling and your leg is on the ground, pull. Slide your hips to your ribs. Dig into your belly. Scoop. And you'll find that. Okay, up on your elbow. <sighs> so let's fix it from this lovely pose. Uh, up out of your shoulder, activate your serratus. Ribs come up and in, and make sure that top hip is square on top of the other one. Keep your hand here if you want to make sure you're not rocking back too far. Pressing down on the ball a little bit. Lift, rolling it out, and bringing it back. Knee to the ceiling, roll it out. You have to push forward with your hip and pull back with your knee. Rolling it out, 
bringing it back and out and bring it back. And I'm pretty sure we did clam next. Can I get an uh huh? Ah, I like that. Thank you very much, Kathy. Okay, keep this nice and lifted. Ribs up higher than you think you need to. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Adductors, the, the muscles that add your legs together. Adduct, adduct. Your feet are staying together. Add, add. Keep it there. Lift your hips and down. Lift your hips and down. And hips and hips. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Your hips and your ribs are in a nice diagonal line. Three, two, one. Come all the way back down. And this is where we did develop it. Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I like to start right where the muscle tucks into the leg. You start in parallel. Float your legs. Turn them both out. And begin. So your top hip has to stay on top. Keep that mouse house knee to the ceiling. Hamstring is lifting that toe up. More, 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 more. Come on, get it all the way up there. Good. Float that bottom leg, knee to your shoulder. The only way to get it to your shoulder is drop that greater true canter. So here I am using my gluteus medius to lift it, and here I am with it dropped. Yes, you do that too. Drop that. You've all felt me adjust you. And then keep your knee in the same spot. Present your heel, please. Like you're going to a PK arabesque and Miss Cassie's watching. And on the lape. Really high, really high. And then roll it back out. In, turn out, bottom leg also. Back to parallel. Again, turn it out. Dead lape. So you're, you're turned out so much right now that your pinky is going to touch the ball. Right there. Yeah. Good. Work, 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 work. Higher. Higher in that knee. More higher. Drop that greater chill canter. And then bottom leg is still floating. Dead will pay up. It's okay if you're not fully straight. This is right working that gluteus medius, working those turnout muscles. Not hamstring right now. Pinky toe on the ball. You're so turned out. That top hip is pushed forward. Roll back and turn out and bring it to back. Okay, last one. Float your legs. Belly in. Turn it out. Both feet out. <clears throat> I got to ooch up here so you can see my legs. Oh, all the way up. <clears throat> Double pay up. More, more, more. Hamstring is working, gluteus medius drops, the greater trochanter drops towards your sit bones, knee comes up to your shoulder, Deslope up, remove the ball. Take your calf behind your knee somewhere, push away to activate the hamstrings. Good, I'm going to pull it down to you. And push away, that bottom leg is turned out, be great if it's floating, and pull it down to you. Last one, push away to activate. And pull it down to you. Yes, yes, yes. Reach up under. And pull it all the way through. Stretch, stretch, stretch. When you release it, try not to let it flap away. Really control. So release. Turned out that top hip is toward, toward the front. Keep it balanced. Top of the foot is to the back of the wall. Slowly turn out. Point your feet super straight. You can feel the activation of that back of the knee. All the way down. Turn down, turn down, turn down, turn down, turn down, turn down. Back to center. Here we go. Let's do. On your back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> on your back. Ball between your knees. Find the space where we started, where you are in the neutral spot. So find that neutral spine place. A little curve in your low back. T12 is on the mat, shoulders are back, belly is in. Tighten that corset again. Squeeze the ball between your knees. Exhale, curl your spine up. Pelvic curl. 
squeeze the ball. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll down. Inhale at the bottom. Tip your pelvis to an extreme six o'clock with your belly, and then engage your glutes and hamstrings and push up. Good. So this distance between your ribs and your hips stays close. You're lifting from under here. And roll down, shoulders back. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, peel up. And roll back down. Beautiful. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, peel up. Good. Take the ball, put it underneath your tailbone, just like we had it before. So when we did this, at, when we used this before, we want to have it in the same position. We're not lifting our head right now, though. Good. Take your right leg straight up in the air. Nice. Are you ready? Open to the side and back to center. Bring it down and bring it up. Open to the side and back to center. Belly in. Bring it down and bring it up. Open side, center, down and up. Side, center, and set it down. Left leg straight up in the air. Open side. Stability, center. Uh huh. Keeping that belly working. Progression is to take your hands off the mat. Open side. Take your elbows off the mat. Down. And up. It should feel pretty strong. And set it down. Take the ball out. Stay here in your uh, pelvic curl. Oops, I put the string back there. Good. So you should be lifted under your hamstrings. Belly is in. Knees are about fist width apart. Straight up in the air. Drop two inches, lift two inches, open and return. Drop two inches, lift, open and return. Don't drop your hip. It should stay at the same height of your other hip. So same motion, but now we're asking our hamstring to do the work. Good, hold it there, hold it there. Bend it into tabletop and tap and lift and tap. And tap and lift, keep that hip high, hip high and tap. Belly in, tap, and set it down. Bring up your back, straight up in the air. And drop two inches, and lift two inches. Side and center. Drop it. Hip up. Side. Yes, belly in, drop. And lift. Glute is working. Drop. And lift. Side and center. Table top. Hold that. Tap. Two. Belly in, tap. Thoracic 12 is down. <sighs> nice. Set it down. Roll down. Find your... Oh, let's do it without the ball. Arms overhead. Legs into tabletop. Take an inhale here. Exhale up into teacher prep. <sighs> Armpits are down. Belly is in. Take an inhale. Exhale. Roll down. Inhale at the bottom, exhale up. Oh, okay, you do it. Just kidding, I'll do it. Ugh. Exhale, roll down. One more. Straighten your legs. We're going to exhale down just the top half. And exhale back up. Let's do uh, two full teasers. Down and down and up. And up, down, yes, keep fighting for it. Okay, I guess that was three, sorry. Bring it in for rolling like a ball. Grab somewhere between your knee and your ankle. Closer in is harder, farther out is easier, but you cannot do this. So you want to work in this area of your body, not your upper back. So it's not a hunch. Armpits down, belly in. Inhale at the top. Exhale, roll to your scapula and back up. Inhale, roll. Exhale to roll. If you don't quite get there, that's okay. Give it a little more force with your belly. Good. Try challenging yourself, bringing it closer. Yes, yes. Armpits, belly. 
Beautiful. Stretch your legs out for open leg rocker. So sit nice and tall. Same thing. You have to curve your low back. Only back to your scapula. Inhale at the top. Exhale, roll. Ah. Try it again. Curl. Beautiful. And hold it back to teaser and float down gracefully. Yay! That was beautiful. Rolling onto your belly, please. You do need your ball. We're going to do the, uh, the swan lift with the ball after we lift a couple times. So on your belly, shoulders slipped forward. Hip bones are on the mat. Cubic bone is pressing into the mat. Ice cubes on your belly. That's where we're activating. So ice cubes, activate your belly. Shoulders shrug to the ceiling. Fingers slide down your legs as you lift your upper back. Keep the ice cubes under your belly. Feet should be on the mat. If they are floating, you need bigger ice cubes under your belly. And exhale down. Set the three hip bones on the mat. Ice cubes under your belly. Shrug. Open. Lift. Higher, higher, higher. Exhale, come down. Again. Yeah. Of course, Colette. Hip bones, cubic bone, belly, shrug, open, lift. A little higher, reach back. For basket, you must keep your belly activated. Your legs, your feet just push up to the ceiling, opening your shoulders. Your belly stays active. Ice cubes, ice cubes, ice cubes. Open your shoulders by lifting your feet. Good. Release one. Arm comes overhead. Release the other. Come down. Arms overhead. <sighs> inhale up. And exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Inhale and come down. Okay, keeping your belly active, lift yourself on your forearms. Right, I'm going to angle my body up a little bit this way. So you can get a better view. Ball goes under your sternum, gives you just a little bit of support, and then you can really get into activating those uh, serratus, right? Armpits are really pulling down. Belly is active. So my belly is not sagging on the mat. Good. Turn out your feet. Yes. Left arm up. Open to the side. Set it down. Right arm up. Open to the side. Set it down. Left. Open and down. Right. Open and down. Belly in. Both arms up. Open to the side. Set them down. Your feet should be on the mat. Don't let your feet float here, so keep those ice cubes under your belly. Left, right, open, and down. Left, right, open. And let's do uh, opposite arm. Right, left, open. Right, left, open. Right, left, open. Take out the ball for a little mini swan prep where you exhale forward and press back. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Exhale. One more. Nice. Lay down. Pushing back into child's pose just for a moment. Take a nice inhale there. Okay, from here, up into center splits, anchoring your hip bones down, belly in, extend out, roll your thighs back as you walk forward. Keep your hip bones on the mat, hip bones down, hip bones down, hip bones down. 
I mean sit bones. Sit bones down as far forward as you can come. Three, two, keep your belly activating to keep those sit bones down and release and stretch. Rolling back your thighs the whole time. Try to keep your knees up at the ceiling. And then walk yourself back, sit bones down, and see where you can let go of the floor, where you can hold with your belly. Find that spot and then restack your vertebra all the way up. Nice, keeping your toes pointed, palm right over this way, and recover, and palm right the other. And recover, belly in. Thank you very much. You guys did great. You should, uh, if you're not taking another class right now, you should continue to stretch, and um, hopefully I'll see you in another one class. Bye. Bye. Bye.